Hi, everyone, and welcome to the 35th anniversary of the Kelly James Band's debut album project. At least I introduced the guys to Doug Gray of the Marshall Tucker Band and George McCorkle, really a fine group of guys, and they owned a studio in Spartanburg. I really pushed the idea for the album because I really believed in the music these guys were doing and are doing and have done, and it should have been signed by MCA. Unfortunately, when we finished the project, MCA was in a turbulent change of management, and it was turned down for all the wrong reasons, and that happens so often. About three years before that, I was at Mercury Polygram in Chicago as National Promotion Director of Singles, and we presented Alabama to them. And at that time, Jerry Kennedy, the producer, said he just couldn't hear them. And Charlie Fash, the manager of Mercury for 35 years, who oversaw, I mean, just everybody in the business almost made their way through Charlie. He said, you know, Jay, I turned down Chicago. I turned down Barbara Streisand, not once but twice. And I always kept that thought in mind. And I still believe Kelly James Band should have made a debut album that went number one on Billboard charts. But it didn't. But at any rate, congratulations, guys, on the 35th anniversary of the Kelly James Band's debut album. And God bless each one of you guys in the band and your friends that are gathered here tonight.